struggling with lifeless compacted or nutrient depleted soil? You're not alone. Many gardeners face this challenge, especially after years of planting in the same beds. The solution isn't synthetic fertilizers that offer a quick but temporary fix, it's compost tea. This liquid gold is packed with beneficial microbes, essential nutrients, and organic matter that rebuild soil health from the ground up. It doesn't just feed plants, it transforms the soil, making it rich, balanced, and full of life. Unlike traditional compost, which takes months to break down and integrate into the soil, compost tea works quickly, soaking deep into the ground and supercharging the microbial life that makes nutrients more available to plants. Whether you're growing flowers, vegetables, or herbs, compost tea is the secret to long-lasting, thriving gardens. Let's dive into how you can make and apply it to bring your soil back to life. Step 1. Creating the best compost for nutrient-rich tea. High-quality compost is the foundation of great compost tea. If your compost is lacking, your tea won't be as effective. The best compost comes from a diverse mix of green and brown organic materials. Green materials such as vegetable scraps, coffee grounds and grass clippings provide nitrogen for plant growth. Brown materials like dried leaves, straw, and shredded newspaper supply carbon, fueling microbial activity. To ensure your compost is teeming with life, keep it moist, like a wrung-out sponge, and turn it regularly to aerate and speed up decomposition. Adding worm castings or aged manure will further boost microbial diversity. When your compost is dark, crumbly, and smells rich and earthy, it's ready for compost tea. Step 2. Brewing Powerful Compost Tea Fill a 5-gallon bucket with dechlorinated water. If you're using tap water, let it sit for 24 hours so chlorine can evaporate, as chlorine kills beneficial microbes. Rainwater is an even better option since it's naturally soft and mineral-rich. Add 2 cups of finished compost to the water. To feed the microbes and promote rapid population growth, mix in a tablespoon of unsulfured molasses or liquid kelp. This provides energy for bacteria and fungi, which multiply quickly under the right conditions. To get the best results, aerate the tea using an aquarium air pump with an air stone. Oxygen is crucial. It prevents harmful anaerobic bacteria from developing and helps beneficial microbes thrive. If you don't have an air pump, stir the mixture several times a day to introduce oxygen manually. Let the tea brew for 24 to 36 hours. The ideal compost tea should have a pleasant, earthy smell. If it starts to stink like rotten eggs, it has gone anaerobic and should be discarded. Use fresh tea immediately, as beneficial microbes begin to die off quickly after brewing. Step 3. Applying compost tea for maximum impact. Compost tea can be applied in two ways, as a soil drench and as a foliar spray. Both methods work to enhance plant health and improve soil structure, but they target different needs. For soil application, pour the freshly brewed tea directly onto garden beds, around the base of plants, or into planting holes before transplanting seedlings. This allows beneficial microbes to penetrate the soil, break down organic matter, and make nutrients more accessible to plant roots. If you have compacted soil, weekly applications of compost tea will improve texture, moisture retention, and root development over time. For foliar feeding, strain the tea through a fine mesh cloth or an old t-shirt to remove solid particles that could clog a sprayer, then, transfer it into a spray bottle or garden sprayer and lightly mist plant leaves, focusing on the undersides where nutrient absorption is most efficient. This method strengthens plant immunity, helping them resist pests and diseases naturally. The best time to spray is early in the morning or late in the afternoon when temperatures are lower, reducing evaporation and allowing for better absorption. For consistent results, apply compost tea every two weeks throughout the growing season. After heavy rain or prolonged dry spells, an extra application can help restore soil balance and keep plants thriving. Enhancing your compost tea for even better results. If you want to take your compost tea to the next level, consider adding natural boosters that cater to your specific plant needs. Alfalfa meal provides an extra nitrogen boost making it excellent for leafy greens. Fish hydrolysate adds phosphorus, essential for strong roots and flower production. Seaweed extract enhances plant resilience to stress, making them more drought and pest resistant. Humic acid improves nutrient absorption and helps bind minerals in the soil. These simple additions make compost tea even more effective for different garden conditions. Troubleshooting common compost tea issues. 
If your compost tea doesn't seem to be working as expected, the issue often comes down to the compost quality or the brewing process. A foul smell means there wasn't enough oxygen during brewing. This can be prevented by aerating the mixture properly with an air pump or stirring more frequently. If plants show little improvement, the problem might be poor quality compost. Always use mature, biologically active compost with diverse organic inputs to ensure high microbial diversity. If you see slimy growth in your tea, it could indicate too much molasses or sugar-based ingredients. Reduce sweeteners to prevent unwanted bacterial overgrowth. Water quality can also affect results. If your tap water is heavily chlorinated, always let it sit before use or use filtered water. Conclusion the power of compost tea to revive soil. Bringing dead soil back to life is not only possible, it's easy when you use compost tea regularly. This simple, natural method infuses the soil with beneficial microbes, improves structure and makes nutrients more accessible to plants, leading to healthier, more productive gardens. Whether you're growing vegetables, flowers or potted plants, compost tea is one of the most effective ways to keep your garden thriving long term. If you found this guide helpful, Subscribe to Botanical Bliss for more in-depth gardening tips. Share this with fellow gardeners, and let's revive our soil together. One batch of compost tea at a time.